Hello everyone. This is the day three of the ServiceNow admin training. In this day, we'll talk about that user, role, and groups. So let's understand first. So ServiceNow recommendation is that let's say that I am a user. So I am a user. Okay. So as I mentioned that user, uh, like this, all the application and other stuffs are getting controlled by a, re a role, right? So we can directly add a role to a user, right? So we can add that role to a user, right? But service now recommendation is that not to use or not to add user to directly role. What service now suggesting is that, so service now suggesting that instead of that assigning role to a user, what suggesting is that create a group and add that group to a particular role. So we will create a group and then inside the group we'll add particular role. And one role can have multiple child role. Let's say, for example, this ITIL admin, this is the admin role. This role can have a child role called ITIL. So what we'll do, we'll add this group to a user, right? So we'll add this group to a particular user. Instead of role directly giving that role, we'll add them a group. And once we add them a groups, that groups uh, will have whatever role, like this role, this group have a, this role, right? So user will automatically inherit that role. So I don't have to add the role to user. I'll add the user to the groups and then user will automatically add from the groups, user will automatically add the role. And if that role have any child role, automatically the child role also will have the user. So understand correctly, we are not giving them the role directly to the user. We are giving them or we are adding them a groups and group have a role and if the role have any child role the child role also will be automatically added and based on the role they will have access to that application modules data all these things so this is our service now environment or service now instance we discussed earlier video that what all these things so now if we type here called users we will get a module called users and groups you can see users and group under this users and group we have a various module first module is the users so if you click the users you will find out the all the user list here right now you can see i have 662 user is available to this environment so this is the user uh, things and if you see right now i logged in as an admin so admin have as i mentioned that admin have a lot of functionality they have a lot of capacity that does not have um, capacity to the other user. So if you see under this user and groups module, we have a mo module called user. Under this user, we can see all the 662 user is available. These are the dummy user which is created in the by the service now for demo purpose. If you see in your uh, service now actual environment like your uh, company environment you might not be able to see this user you will be able to see the real user with their email addresses now we have a groups if you go to the groups module you have you can see that right now i have 85 groups available so you can see i have 85 groups available and these groups are also the dummy groups and these groups can have associated um, various roles and then if we go back to the roles we have service now out of box 586 role we can create our role we'll discuss further that how we can create the roles or how or why we need the roles but at that moment i am not going to create the roles so we are going to discuss user groups and roles all these three modules are available under system and groups and the system security application all right so what i will do i'll go to this particular let's say i am going to open a particular user um let's say i am going to use this uh, particular user called uh, this user let's see that that user have any groups or not so this is the user profile and this user you can see this is the user profile and this user have uploaded the photo this is a active user and you know this is a you can see that email address is uh so at the rate example.com and if i scroll down under that we have a modules called roles and then we have a uh, uh, you know groups that is one groups now if you see here we have 44 roles so this user have 44 roles now if you see the groups this user have associated with a one group so what is the groups if i open these groups this group 
is nothing but a application development so if we open in a different tab you can see these user have a application development groups and this uh, this is a groups and this group have a six member right similarly if i go open these roles these uh, this user have a roles and if i filter out inherited uh, true false then this this user are actually added one role called ITIL and once we added this ITIL role automatically inherit these many role called 44 roles we are going to understand in a bit so I am going to create a group so this is the group module I am going to create a new a group so I'll click the new button once we click the new button the first thing is that group name group manager group email and parent parent means that if your group is a child group of a, any parent group so let's say i'll put that help desk level one so this is might be a group name so i will put that and click the save button once we save that you can see under these groups you can add many other groups so if you want to add one more groups under these groups you can add so this will be a parent group and you can add the child group also i am not going to do that at that moment what i will do i'll go to the roles module and add a roles here so i'll click edit button here and then here i can add all these roles so you can see these are the role available at that moment what i'll do i will add the itil role so i'll search that and then you can see we have itil admin and itil so itil admin is a parent role and then child role is the itil so i'll add simply itil role and save that so it means that what will be un happen understand that so this is a group called help desk level one group and these groups have a one role called itil role and so if we add that user to this groups called help desk level one this user or that user will have this itil role and along with that whatever child role which is attached to this itil role that role also they will get that so let's understand what all child role is there so if i open this itil role so this is our itil role if i open that itil role this role have 20 more role so you can see this itil role have 20 more role you can see these 20 uh, role are there and this role can also have a child role so it is uh, as i mentioned that the parent role so this is the groups these groups have a role called itil role and this itil have a 20 more role and each this child role can have few more or child role so that will be automatically inherited so let's go back to this user mo uh, module i'm going to create a user so go here and I'm going to click this new button and I'm going to create a user. So user creation can be done through various process, might be through manually or maybe through the integration from other source. But I am going to create a new ITL user. Uh, user. So I put that new underscore ITIL underscore user. So this is our ITL user. And then here I'll put that first name called new ITIL and then last time i'll put the user all right and then here i will just click save or submit button without putting any additional information if you want to put any additional information you can put like email address language all these stuffs so user id will be always unique and using this user id i will log in with that user profile so i'll just save that now once I save that, you can see uh, it is saying that this user is getting created and this user doesn't have any role, any groups, right? Now I will set up a password. So I'll click the set password and then here the password is generated. I'll copy this password or maybe I'll click generate, copy password and save password. All right. So this password has been saved. And now what I have to do, you can see this have option called password needs to be reset. So whenever I need to log in with this username and password first time, I need to, uh, you know, reset the password. So let's save this password somewhere in our document. Here I'll save this password. So this is the password I have received. And 
here I will copy the user ID so I'll paste that user ID and password now what we have to do we have to add this user to a groups the groups we have created called help desk group right so let's first open to the incognito tab so this is my incognito tab and here I am trying to log in with this user and then password so let's first try to do that I'll put this username and password so this is my uh, I'm doing from the incognito so here I'll put the user ID called new underscore ITIL user and here I'll put this password that has been generated through the system so I'll copy this whole thing and paste here and try to log in once I log in you can see it is asking me to put current password as I mentioned that if the user profile have a this checkbox is checked uh, like password needs to be reset then user has to be reset their password whenever they are trying to log in with their username and password so let's reset the password I'll put the current password so I have put this current password and now I'll copy this password and set there let's do that So I'll put this new password and then here also in confirm I'll put the same password and click submit. So password has been changed and then at that moment uh, the new ITL user doesn't have any kind of role. Let's see. So let's save this password also. So this is the new password for this user day 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is a new user which a new ITL user which doesn't have any role and if you go back to here you can see you only able to see the self-service module this is the application self-service application and there are few uh, minimum application and here you don't have any search application and then you have minimum very minimum application minimum access now if you go back to the profile under this profile everything is read only you can't change your view because you are the user which doesn't have any role now we'll go back to this admin profile so this is my admin profile and you can see in the top it's showing that nu so it is a uh, functionality of the service now if somebody is using or somebody is seeing same uh, record so you can see this is the record or same record i am also using or i am also you uh, seeing that using this uh, my profile right uh, so i was also seeing this record and similarly um, that using that admin profile I was seeing so I can see who are watching this record so it is showing the new ITL user so new ITL user also open this form anyways at that moment we change the password and automatically system uncheck this new uh, password need, needs to be reset uncheck now what we'll do I will add this help desk user this help desk user I will add here as a groups so I'll edit that now I will add this help desk user to the new user profile so i'll add that user and save that so now you can see that once i refresh this profile you can see the user have a one group called help desk level and roles the user have 44 roles how come the 44 roles came up because we added the itil role and then after that itil role they inherit couple of roles and then automatically add it so if you see here we have a inherited options and it is saying that uh, if I filter out all is none right because this ITIL role this ITIL is inherited from this group called help desk level one and other uh, these are uh, these all are child role for the ITIL role now to understand that how this role are inherited or how or from where these roles are inherited what I'll do I'll click the personalize here and then we have a options called inheritance map I'll add that and click OK so once I uh, click that inheritance map you can see there are a couple of links created for example let's see that how this task editor role is getting added here because I added this groups called help desk level 1 and help desk level one supposed to add that ITIL how this task editor role is automatically added to this user profile to know that I'll simply click that uh, this uh, template inheritance map so once I click that I have landed a page called inheritance role map 
and you can see the username is a new ITL user. This user is added, this new ITL user is added to this group called help desk level one. And once we added this group, the ITL role is inherited. After that, ITL role inherited. There are some role called SN request write role inherited and then also task role inherited. So this way, these groups, these role are automatically inherited. So similarly, if I go back here and let's say I want to see that how this role uh, template read a uh, global role added, I'll simply click the role inherited map. And it will show that how this role is added by via this map. This is our user profile. This is the group. This is the roles. These all are the roles. And this is the targeted roles that we are looking for the template read global. And this is the via of these all channel. This is has been added to this role. So this way we can know that how the real uh, how the role are added uh, with this case. Now I'll go back to my uh, uh, user. So this is the user and this user have right now ITL role. And if I open that incognito right now and refresh that there will not be any changes uh, the role new role added option will not be reflected. So once your role is added or you have new role, you need to log out and log in again. So let me log in again. So this is the user profile. And here I need to put the password. and try to log in. So once I log in, so this is the first time I am logging as a ITL user. So I have right now ITL user and once I have ITL user, you can see I am going a new page called workspace page and this is the home search global search is available right now. And if I click here, pin that and reduce that there are few more application I can see. So this way we can add user to the particular role, particular groups. Now let's go back to our um, actual admin profile. I'll go back to that admin profile and then open the users module. And then you have an option. I mean, this is our user. So we discuss about that password needs uh, reset. There is a one more options called active and locked out. So there might be some cases where user will not be able to log in their system. The reason behind that, when you try multiple times, um, your username and password are three times, more than three times, and you give wrong username and password, you will automatically locked out into the system. So this way, your profile will be locked out. Now, once your profile is locked out, you cannot log in your system. Let's try that. So I'll go back to this admin profile. I mean, this is the normal profile, and then try to log in, put the username, and then I'll put the password. and then try to log in. You can see that there is an option showing that username password is invalid to reset the admin password, click here. So basically, once your locked out is true, you cannot log in. So there is a situation to log in your system, locked out has to be false and active has to be true. If your profile is active false also, you cannot log in. If your profile is active true, but locked out also true, you cannot log in. So to log in your system, you should have active true and locked out false. So this is the condition for login. So active true and then locked out equal to false. This has to be condition. Then only you can log in in your system. Okay. So that's it for today. Uh, if you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.